So in this lesson of learning iMovie, we're going to talk about using titles, transitions, and maps. Right, you finished your edit, everything looks good, and now you want to just spice things up a bit. Yeah, this is stuff you add on after you've got the, the structure down and locked, and you really now want to add some polish. Yeah, you want to add some bling. Let's do it. All right. You can give your movie a professional touch with animated transitions, titles, and maps. Transitions can be used to indicate the passage of time, or changing locations, or just to add a fun touch. Go to the content library and select Transitions. In the browser, you can preview the different styles of transitions by simply skimming across them. To apply a transition, drag it between two clips. Let's play through that. If you want to try a different transition, just drag it on top of the current transition. Let's see the change. To change the duration of the transition, double-click it and enter a new value. Or, double-click the edge of a clip on either side of the transition to open the Precision Editor, and drag one of the dots between the clips to adjust the duration. The advantage of working in the Precision Editor is that you can see how much media is available for the transition. Let's close the Precision Editor. Titles are great for introducing your movie, identifying people, and giving credit to everyone who participated. In the Content Library, select Titles to see them in the browser. Just like Transitions, you can preview the titles by skimming them. Let's use this one as the opening title for our project. To add a title, you drag it to the timeline. Let's first zoom in to the start of our project. You can either insert the title at the start of the project, like this, and it will play against a black background. Or you can connect it to another clip. Let's connect it to this first clip so that we see the title play over the clip. Let's also trim the end of it to match the duration of this clip. To edit a title, double-click it. This action opens the adjustment bar and highlights the first line of text. Start typing to replace that line. Press the Tab key to move to the next line and type. In the adjustment bar, you can change the style of the text. You can change the font and size. You can make the text bold, italic, or outlined. And change the color. When you're done, click the check mark. If you want to make more changes, click the T icon to reveal the title settings. And to format one line of text at a time, press the Tab key to highlight the line you want to change. Let's add a lower third title to the first clip of our diver talking. And I'll go ahead and trim the clip. A lower third is often used to introduce your subjects to your audience. One of the coolest things I saw was a sea turtle. It was a sea Finally, let's add the scrolling credits to the end of the project. To do so, I'll select it and press the E key. For this title, I recommend double-clicking on each text line to change them. You can delete the lines you don't need and trim the duration of the title to change the speed of the scroll. To complete this project, let's add a map at the beginning to show our viewers where the movie takes place. In the Content Library, select Maps and Backgrounds. In the browser, we have a variety of globes and maps to choose from. 
skim over a few of them to preview them. Let's use this one called Watercolor Globe. I'll move the skimmer to the start of the project, and then press W to insert the globe there. When we select it, the adjustment bar opens above the viewer, and the map settings appear. Let's click on the first city in the route settings, and search for St. Croix. It's not found, so let's try Virgin Islands. There it is. Let's play the map. If you wanted to show an animated travel line from a starting location, you can enter it here. Then click here to swap the start and end locations. Let's play that back. Fantastic! In the next lesson, we'll explore several video overlay effects.